Today, we're going to be opening up almost 900 million diamonds worth of rainbow mini chests to find out whether or not it's worth it for you guys to be opening them or if you should just be selling them in the trading plaza. As you guys probably know, the rainbow mini chests are a drop from breakables that you can get that have come in the latest update. So we have not tested these yet. And honestly, I've only opened like one or two of these so far. And I wasn't even sure what I got really because I was getting other drops while I was opening it. So it was kind of hard to tell, but it seems like you just get basically high tier items from it. So honestly, this could be really juicy. And as well, you also get diamonds just straight up from opening them. Now, this video cost me a ton of diamonds. So if you guys could go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel, it would make me feel a whole lot better about spending this amount of diamonds on a test video because this one was absolutely ridiculous. Also, if you missed my video from yesterday, we opened up over 2.5 billion diamonds worth of exclusive eggs, and we're giving away every single thing we got from those eggs to you guys in the Discord. The giveaway is absolutely free. All you have to do is join up on the Discord. Link is down in the description below. But let's not waste any more time because I'm trying to figure out whether or not these rainbow mini chests are any good at all. All right, so if we take a look at the rainbow mini chests, it says in the description for them that you can open these for the best high tier loot. Now, there's a lot of good high tier loot that costs a lot of diamonds. So when I see the price of 885k for these to get the best high tier loot in the game, I thought it was too good to be true. So we're going to test it out. And I'm also pretty sure that you get diamonds straight up from opening them, uh, sort of like the large gift bags and the small gift bags as well as the regular mini chests so we're gonna see how many diamonds we get i'm pretty much starting from zero as you can see i only have 5,000 diamonds in my inventory right now and i also cleared out all of my items potions inch oh almost all of my enchants uh as well as pretty much anything else that i thought i might get from uh that crate i'm gonna start by just opening one of these mini chests just to see how much diamonds we get as well as what type of stuff we're gonna be getting so i'm gonna open this first one and we get some okay all right wait that actually wasn't too bad we got almost 350,000 diamonds from opening that as well as these tier 7 potions and a tier 8 enchant as well as a tier 7 enchant. Now unfortunately these enchants are pretty worthless at the moment because of how much drops people get as well as these potions. But 355k straight up is pretty good. We did lose about half the value on opening that first crate so definitely not the greatest but I can imagine you can get some pretty cool stuff from this. I'm going to open a couple more just to see what other kind of stuff we can get. Uh, okay, wait, we actually got some secret keys there. Diamond potions and wait, and I think we got 600k. That actually might be profit. That was either profit or very close to it. So that one was actually pretty good, honestly. So I'm actually excited. You can get secret keys. I can only imagine what other types of stuff you can get. I haven't seen anybody open these yet. You guys know I love opening things. So when I saw that nobody has really tested these out too well, I really wanted to see what was inside them. We're going to open one more just to see what type of stuff we got. So that one was really bad. We got some pretty useless potions, uh, but we did get about 400k if my math is going right. We do have a lot of these though, so I'm going to get to opening them. But as you can see, this is almost 900 million diamonds worth of these mini chests. So let's find out if these are worth it or not. All right, so we just went through about 250 of these rainbow mini chests. And we have 109 million diamonds raw just straight up from opening the boxes. So that's pretty good. Uh, we also have 130 of these large gift bags, 85 mini chests. These are worth almost 3 mil right here over a mil worth of tnt crates which are always good to have and then a whole bunch of keys as well this is like five million in total worth of keys some booth slot vouchers as well as other various tickets so these are worth a decent amount let's check out the potions so we got some decent potions here 
These diamond eight potions are very useful. I know a lot of people need these for grinding, especially because they are the newest top level potions. So these are worth about 100k each. So that's two mil. And then we have the lower level diamond potions, which are also worth a lot. And then we have these tier 10 potions, which surprisingly enough, these are worth a decent amount, 380k each. So we did make some decent money. Oh, and look, we got some tier nine books. So these are the highest tier books currently. These are also worth like a mil each. So these are actually pretty good. Four mil, 4.7 mil worth of strong pets books, 5.85 mil worth of treasure hunter books. This is pretty decent, honestly. I actually really like opening these because there are some cool stuff that you can get from this. Unlike when you're opening the gift bags, you pretty much get a bunch of really boring, cheap stuff. Uh, and I'm sure we also haven't got everything that you possibly can get from these. So I'm going to keep opening and I will check in with you guys in a second. All right, you guys. So I went a little bit above the 250 from the last time. So we have 498 mini chests left. We actually got a little more diamonds than we got last time because we got 109 from the last 250. And this time we got 115 million from 250 uh, of these rainbow mini chests. So that's pretty good. From what it looks like, we haven't gotten anything new besides some of these extra charms. But pretty much all the items seem to be the same. We just got more of the current stuff that we already had. So it doesn't seem like you can get anything too crazy from opening these. But these things do have a lot of value. And then you do get a lot of raw diamonds back as well. So we're going to have to wait to see till the end of the video if we're actually in profit or not. I'm going to keep opening. I'm going to do another 250 do a little quick check-in and then we'll finish them off and see if we made profit or not. All right, you guys, so we did another check-in. We have some people uh, being a little funny around us right now. But yeah, it doesn't seem like you can get anything else very special. So we're just going to finish off opening the rest of these and then tally everything up and see if we made a profit or not. I'll see you guys in a second with the total results of the opening. All right, so we're finally done opening all of these and we have the total amount of stuff that we got from opening a thousand of the rainbow mini chest. And honestly, I'm not sure if we are in profit at all looking at all of this stuff. It really does add up to a lot. Just these large gift bags alone are worth 10 mil. The mini chests are worth 10 mil. TNT crates worth 5 mil. These keys together are worth about 20 mil. It looks like we could potentially be close to breaking even after we add up all of this stuff, including all of the potions and the enchants, but it's going to be pretty rough. Let's make a box to put these in. Let's make it green and put it for the rainbow mini chest opening. And then we're going to put all of our stuff inside this and figure out whether or not we made a profit. I'll see you guys in a second with the final results. All right, so we've put everything inside the green box. I haven't looked at it quite yet, but we have a total of 454 million diamonds in our inventory, and we spent around, I think, 880 million, if I'm correct. So that's going to be another 430 million we're looking worth of stuff in this green box for us to break even. Let's just take a look and see if we made an overall profit on this opening or not. And oh, okay. So we got a total of 335 million diamonds worth of stuff in this box. So that combined with the 454 million, that's around 780 million if my math is working tonight. But that is a hundred million diamond loss in total, which honestly overall for a 900 million diamond opening, that is not too bad at all. And I'm sure you could get a lot of overpay for this stuff, which would bring that gap pretty close to breaking even for these items, especially for things like these keys. You can get some overpay for these, which would bring your profit margin a lot closer. So you pretty much are kind of close to breaking even so if we take the 454 million plus the 335 million that we got 
in items, that brings us to a total of 789 million worth of value from opening a thousand mini chests. So if we take that and divide it by how much we paid for them, which was around 880 million, we'll say on average, that's basically a 90% return in value. So honestly, in terms of our openings, this was probably one of the least bad outcomes that we've seen in a while. As you guys know, a lot of the openings we've done on the channel have caused a great loss of sometimes more than 50% of how much we put in. So honestly, getting a 90% return on this opening was pretty good. Overall though, if you wanted a recommendation on opening these or just selling them, I would probably just go ahead and sell them just because it would probably take a very long time to go ahead and sell the majority of this stuff. So most likely you're probably going to be better off overall just selling these straight up because that time that it took you to sell all of this stuff individually could probably have got you more diamonds by just flipping other things. But if you do like taking risks, I probably would go ahead and open the ones you get from grinding just because it is kind of a fun mini chest to open and there are some cool things that you can get and if you really do want to take the time to resell all of these stuff you could most likely make a profit on some of these but just in general it's probably safer to sell if you enjoyed the video please consider giving it a like and subscribing we do stuff like this on the channel all the time and pretty much every update we open all the new things that come out so if you like this type of stuff you're going to want to be around for that Remember to join our Discord for daily giveaways as well as probably the most helpful Pet Simulator 99 community on Discord. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.